good afternoon. This afternoon, we are here to sign another contract under the Caribbean Development Bank CDB loan funded program for the rehabilitation of drains and roads throughout the Virgin Islands. Today's contract is for rehabilitation of Lee Road in Valley Virgin Gorda, and the contractor is Creative Builders Limited, owned by Mr. Anselmo Tyrone Stevens. The stretch of road to be repaired runs from the junction with Little Road next to Stevens Service Station, stretching across to the vicinity of the Catholic Community Center. The contract sum is $1.6 million. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite to the podium the district representative to bring remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure for me to be here this afternoon. I, I am very excited about this. It's something that I campaigned on during the elections. And to see this day come to fruition, where we are finally starting this project, where we are going to redevelop, redevelop the Lee Road in the Valley Virgin Garda is indeed a triumph for me. Because if you know anything about Virgin Garda, the Lee Road is actually the main thoroughfare in the Valley Virgin Garda. It is actually the busiest road and the main archery in the Valley Virgin Garda. The, also too, if you know much about Virgin Garda, most of the commercial activity in Virgin Garda occurs right there on that main strip. And to see that this is going to come, the, the redevelopment of this road is indeed pleasing to me and to the people of Virgin Garda. It's going to be a comprehensive development. It's not just surfacing a road, but actually re-engineering, putting in adequate drainage, and put in sidewalks, and so on this main thoroughfare. For the residents of Virgin Garda, we are pleased because we have been asking for this for a very long time. And uh, to our visitors, you know Virgin Garda is a tourism capital of the Virgin Islands. And uh, it used to pain us as Virgin Guardians that we had to see our visitors traversing this road at nights, going to the restaurants and so on for dinner and so on. But to have them traversing a road that had no sidewalks and the danger, the risk involved in, in traversing this road, not only just not having sidewalks, but not even having adequate lighting and so on on this road. So I am very pleased today as representative of the 9th District that this contract is finally coming, um, is, is materializing, and the people of Virgin Garda would be most pleased that this is occurring. I thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. O'Neill, for your remarks as district representative, and we certainly note your excitement that work will be happening within your district. I now invite to the podium the subject minister, Minister for Communications and Works, Honorable Mark Vanterpool, to bring remarks. I join with the people of Virgin Gorda and the entire Virgin Islands today in welcoming the start of this project on the island of Virgin Gorda, which is the rehabilitation of the Lee Road. As many of you would know, Lee Road, as the good representative explained, is that stretch of road in the valley that takes you from the junction at Little Road near the gas station over to the town bay. Well, however, the stretch of road that will be rehabilitated during this project goes from the junction at the gas station to the Catholic Church Community Center. This is a long-awaited and much-anticipated project for Virgin Gorda. Uh, some of you media folks and others will remember we went there for a meeting almost two years ago, perhaps, where some changes were suggested. Um, 
and we took them into consideration, went back to the drawing board, made those changes, the team worked on that, and now we are glad that we are back to present this project to the people of Virgin Gorda. It's a contract signing today that reaffirms our government's commitment to maintaining and upgrading our territory's road network to ensure safe traveling for residents and visitors in the territory. The Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, as you know, approved a $15.67 million loan for the Virgin Islands in March 2012 to help with rehabilitating the territory's roadways after the devastation caused by Tropical Storm Otto in October of 2010. The people of Virgin Gorda have been inconvenienced for several years because of constant flooding on Lee Road whenever there is heavy rainfall. So today, I'm very pleased to see the process towards the rehabilitation of this road being advanced to the stage of the award and signing of this contract. And we're expecting to see the completion of this project within the next eight months. Contractor, Mr. Anselmo Stevens, I believe you're a junior, right? No, not a junior guy. Mr. Anselmo Stevens and his team at Creative Builders have been entrusted with these works, which would include clearing the land, demolishing and rebuilding concrete box drains, reconstructing 650 meters of concrete road pavement, and construction of 441 meters of reinforced concrete box drains, 93 meters of reinforced concrete swale drain, a twin HDPE pipe culvert, including manholes, construction of two reinforced concrete box culverts, and the fabrication of metal gratings over the box drains. That's the scope of work. The contract sum, sum totals $1,664,855.50. That's $1,664,855.50. In the meantime, several other projects have been either completed, are underway, or are still being awarded under the CDB loan funded program. To date, 10 contracts of works with a total of $8,106,312.26 have been signed for engineering, consultancy, planning regulations, and construction works. So far, we have completed drainage improvements and the road rehabilitation works in Long Trench, Fortune Gut, Palestina, road reconstruction and slope stabilization in Huntum's Gut, embankment stabilization and road reinstatement in Ballast Bay, installment of a retaining wall at Thomas Land, and drainage improvement in Parham Town. Three other projects are underway. Drainage solution and road rehabilitation in Greenland, slope stabilization and drain construction in Windy Hill, and the construction of retaining walls in Nottingham Estate. Two consultancy contracts were also signed with Tyra Green for planning regulations and FDL Consult Inc. for engineering works and project management. There are three tender packages currently going through the national competitive bidding process by the standard local government procedures. These are horse path drainage solution with road stabilization and rehabilitation, hydrology study, following an RFP cabinet approved seven companies to provide bids, and Harrigan Estate slope stabilization and road restoration. As Minister of Communications and Works, for communication and works, I have pledged to do my very best to ensure that all roads are safer for the motoring public and pedestrians, and I am pleased with the progress that we have made towards this goal in recent years. I thank our Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. D. Orlando Smith and his team, my colleagues in government, the staff of the Ministry of Communications and Works, especially the team uh, headed by Dr. Glasgow and uh, regularly overseen by Ms. Haley Trott, all of the contractors and their te teams who have worked towards a successful execution 
of these projects. As a government, we expect to see the timely and efficient completion of all of these projects, including the Lee Road component. We thank you, the public, for your continued patience and support as we undertake these infrastructural projects and apologize in advance for any inconvenience that may be or will be caused as we continue to improve the road network in our islands. Thank you very much today. God bless you and God bless these wonderful Virgin Islands. Thank you, Honorable Vanderpool, for your remarks on this signing occasion as we move forward with advancing the development of the territory. We will now have the signing of the contract. Signing on behalf of the government of the Virgin Islands will be the Premier, Dr. The Honorable Orlando Smith, and signing on behalf of the Contractor Creative Builders Limited, Mr. Anselmo Tyrone Stevens. The contract signing. Ladies and gentlemen, the contract has been signed. I now invite the contractor, Mr. Anselmo Tyrone Stevens, to give remarks. It is a wonderful pleasure for us to be able to do this job. First of all, it is Virgin Order. It is my home. It is some place I really take a lot of pride in, some place my heart is in. So doing a job like this has a lot of passion for us to commit into it. It has been for a time, it's to come. And we are very happy that the government of the British Virgin Islands has chosen us to complete this task for them. A very important task, as the Honorable Minister says, is a very intricate road with a tourist pass, many tourist paths. Having not sidewalks and stuff is very important to have it in now. We are here as a builder, contractor, to give you the finest work as possible. Give it to you on time and without very many minimal delays in traffic flows and stuff like that. Basically, we are just happy to be here and happy to have it, sir. It's been long coming. Honorable Mark Vanderpool, we thank you. Honorable O'Neill, we thank you on behalf of the government. And we must thank Jesus Christ for bringing us thus this far. It has been a rule. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the signing ceremony for the Lee Road Rehabilitation Program project under the CDB Loan Funded Program. I thank you. <laughs>